Good evening, friends and family members. Thanks for tuning in to Podcast 82. The Keys is on the verge of revolt. Uh, big thanks to FloridaKeysInjury.com, Accident Lawyers in the Florida Keys. If you are involved in an accident, car, moped, or bicycle, contact those boys at 302 Southern Street or at FloridaKeysInjury.com. Also, I'd like to give a big thanks to Advanced Urgent Care, now offering free COVID-19 testing at the Key West Marathon and Key Largo locations, open Monday through Saturday. Certain restrictions do apply. Um, and a big shout out to Dr. Burroughs. We have Monica in the house today, and Louie, I'm gonna turn it over to you. What is going on, my people? Louis C. the mayor uh, checking in. All love right now. So we're going to get this thing started. And today, like uh, my girl Denise Lane said, the keys is on the verge of revolt. Not revolt like Puff Daddy. Um, like the one that's really going to happen if we don't get our stuff here straight. So we need everybody to come in, hit the notifications right over here to be notified uh, when we're on the live and on YouTube, those that are watching worldwide, make sure you hit the subscribe button. But man, this thing is, is crazy. So what that happened was, what that happened was today, everything was calm as pie. But this afternoon, a thing broke from the mayor's office, direct from Terry Johnson, that as soon as you step out of your house, it don't matter if you're a half inch, a quarter inch, a foot, a yard out of your house, you got to wear a mask. And I got to tell you, the people have spoken We've been monitoring uh, the comments and it's not looking good at all. And I want to get your feedback on what you guys uh, think um, that's going on and let me know uh, what your feelings are because a lot of people are very, uh, very uh, angry. A lot of people, you know, support it. But the majority I've seen are, are very, very unhappy. So let me know what you think. Uh, I got Monica Woolbury in the building, uh, back on the show, making things happen. Ms. Woolbury, how you doing? The people that don't know you from Adam, please give them a, a brief intro on yourself so we can get this thing cracking. I'm Monica. I work for I work and own Rose Petals in Paradise. I am a small business here in Key West. Um, I work in all the bars as well as making people happy. You, you haven't worked in a long time. No. Yeah, so we've been out since March 17th, uh, got back in briefly, and then got uh, shut down. There's also more breaking news we're going to talk about that uh, a lot of people don't know because the news is, uh, I feel like we're at WPLG Channel 10. So come on in. If you got any questions on what's going on, please state your opinion right now. Let me know how you feel because uh, at this point, I, real, I really feel the energy of the people, and I think that the people are... An uprise, and uh, I don't think people are going to, uh, you know, um, deal with this uh, too happily. And there's a lot of negativity going out there. So my job is to try to bring people together. And right now, I I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do, but it's all bad news going on. So uh, speaking about the people, we, uh, Monica, I heard you got a power to the people uh, voters rally next Friday, July 24th. Monroe County uh, Courthouse, and right now I think it's going to be a massive uh, turnout. Let's see who we got confirmed. Uh, Mark Rossi for mayor is confirmed. Billy Wardlow confirmed to speak. And the idea for this uh, rally is to get the vote out, because right now, as far as I'm concerned, you vote or die. So what's going on with the rally? I know you had one before, but now it looks like you're going full steam ahead 100 miles and running. We are. Um, we've got a lot of people that are wanting to come out and that are going to come out. Um, they're really upset on how things are going. Um, no one's getting unemployment. No one gives a flying in the city. And they just want to keep shutting everything down. It's really pissing people off. Bad news across the board, like my man Joe Walsh says over at Fogarty's. Ruth Ann, thank you, girl, for checking in. James checking in. Tangela, what's up, baby dog? Uh, Michael checking in. Teresa checking in. Mass up until the curveball is thrown. Uh, Stacy, I appreciate the comment. And uh, I believe that mass do do some good. Uh, the problem that I'm having with it is I, I don't function on the dictatorships. I function on the majority rule, and I can't have one person uh, dictating what I do. Uh, I'm grown. 
And I just, uh, I got to vote these people out who ain't on the same page as me. So I'm 100%, 1 million, 1 billion, 1 trillion behind Mark Rossi. So what I do is uh, I, I uh, put my opinion in that, in that voter's uh, booth and vote you out of there. Please hit the notifications right here. YouTube, if you're watching worldwide, hit the subscribe right here. And any questions you got about this or any uh, comments, feel free. Mask them checking in. Um, uh, majority checking in. Alex uh, checking in. Thank you so much for the love. Also, you know, I hate to uh, tell y'all some more bad news, but this, I'm telling you, we on the verge of revolt in the Florida Keys right now. Uh, Big J, Selfie King. Boy, oh boy. You know how you are on them streets. You better get about 500 to vote, boy. Because right now, boy, we, we, we in collapse. So what had happened was, um, as y'all know, Wednesday, well, some of y'all don't know this. Wednesday, there is a vote for the county commission to shut down restaurants at either 10 or 11. So I'm 100% against that completely because I said I think it sends a bad message it's to not tourism. It's yeah, and, and also... Um, the COVID doesn't um, uh, uh, doesn't know the difference. Does it doesn't turn off uh, magically, you know, at a certain hour. So if you shut down at ten, it's not like you hit a button and there's no more COVID. But here, here's the they went above and beyond this. Now there's a discussion of locking y'all down completely, like escape from New York, locking the whole county down for a countywide curfew, like we have with the hurricanes. I don't know when this is gonna stop. But that, that's what's coming up next. So let me know how you feel about a curfew. Do you agree with this? Walk out of your house, wear a mask. And, and to me, um, tours, I keep promoting tourism. They're making my job difficult because how can I ask somebody to come down here and spend $5,000 and every square inch of the city or county they go to, they get arrested? Monica, how do you feel? I feel that it's actually absurd, 100%. Um, we have people that are that want to spend money here, but now, guess what? I have seen more and more people literally dropping all of their plans to come here. You have people that wanted to get married here, they're dropping it, period. Guests are choosing not to come here. No, no, no doubt. And listen, let me tell you something. Um, they're making it very hard for us out here in the entertainment business and make no uh, bones about it. We want people to be healthy. But unfortunately, this COVID that we have nation worldwide is not going anywhere. So we have to figure out a balance between this. And this is not a balance. Um, Denise Lane brought up a good point today. She said, either you're going to be open or you're going to be closed. You can't have it both ways. So we're open. If it was up to, to the city and county, we'd have been closed. But the, the governor is not going for it. And Yes, we could uh, close, and then what will happen is everything else will close. Over 180 businesses have closed. Uh, there won't be a reason to live in Key West. You might as well move from here. Also, tomorrow is a big, big guest on the show. Teresa Axford from the uh, superintendent of schools is going to be on the show because a lot of people want to know what's going on with schools. And this curveball slider, fastball up and tight they threw today, and they're making it any easier on these people. So I'm curious tomorrow how the school's going to handle this because the state mandates that school be open. Monica, what's popping? Okay. Yeah, um, I have already looked at this. Um, I am a parent. I actually have seven kids. My oldest ones are grown, but I have four kids at home. Um, every parent in the Keys basically tells them to go fuck themselves. They are not sending their kids back to school. If it is not safe for them to go back to work, they are not sending their kids back to school. So Key West better be ready to get those fucking computers out, period, to all the parents so their kids can go to school at home. If some parents want to send their kids to school, so be it. But for most of parents in Key West, they do not want, to have, want that happening. If you can't open up their jobs and prove that they are safe to do so, they're not sending their kids. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break bread with the superintendent tomorrow. I don't know what they have in, uh, in store, what their plan is. So when I get all the information tomorrow, then I'll make a, an official comment on exactly what's going on. Because like I said, nobody wants to die. Nobody wants to get sick. Uh, unfortunately, you got to live with this COVID-19 and you got to do the best you can. Um, I see some uh, comments on there, Ms. Lane. Um, you got anything there? On your side, I'm going to give a couple quick okay. shout-outs. Uh, Richard in the building. Todd, checking in. Thank you. Uh, uh, Skyland Brown, thank you. I see Keith Hospins. Do you see that one? Larry Bader. Uh, vote out 
the uh, vote out the nightmare. She's killing us. We will out. We're out of business for good. Well, like I said, it's critical that you vote or die because your business or die. And at this point, I, I think that is just an incredible situation that There's we got going on. on my side. Yep. Uh, Kat Smith checking in. Uh, Ms. Lane, whenever you're ready, let me know. I see David Flynn. Do you see David Flynn over there? Um, I got healthy community equals healthy economy. What we're doing now isn't working. And I'm glad that you brought that up because I think that these people are, are not bad people. I think they're really trying to do the best they can. But the approach, in my opinion, is all wrong. We're not trying to work with people. We're just trying to dictate. So we're, we're going out there. How can you pass an ordinance here at 2 o'clock and at 2 10, you don't know anything about it, start giving out tickets? So when tourists come in here and spending thousands of dollars, um, you got to be able to talk to these people with an approach and let them know what's going on. Now, if somebody is out of control, let's say a business out of control, uh, circumventing the, uh, the ordinance or just not doing the right thing, then I agree they should have the whole push of the city and county come down on them. But from what I've seen, I've been downtown, and I talked to some uh, some of my colleagues. Everybody's trying to do the right thing that I've seen. I don't see nobody doing anything Everyone's negative. Everyone's doing everything. I've been downtown. I've seen everyone in all the places. I mean, there's not many places to really go to that's open. Um, but for the most part, everyone is doing what they're supposed to. Do me a favor, please. Hit the uh, notifications here. Bam. And hit the YouTube right over here to subscribe. Bam, uh, Denise Lane, we got anybody over there on your side? Um, I've got Keith Hopkins checking in. I'm starting to feel like I moved into a nightmare. We lost everything in Marathon from Irma. Now we are losing everything because of the worthless politics in Key West. Vote or die, 2020. We got Mick Reed checking in, total BS. Perry Scott, thanks for checking in. Larry Bader, checks, thanks for checking in. Anne Marie Pender. Perez is checking in. Nice. So check it out. Listen, they can't, they won't, they ain't never going to stop the party. So go to Where's the Party, Key West on Facebook, and go ahead and keep promoting your business because we got to we gotta fight this uh, full throttle. That's the only way that we could do it because at the end of the day, it's power to the people, the majority rule. And right now, uh, I hate to do it, but uh, Batman and Robin, uh, Heather Carruthers, and uh, um, uh, Mayor uh, Terry, are definitely, uh, you know, like Batman and Robin and trying to dictate everybody's life and it just can't work. Uh, we we got to vote them out of there. What else you got over there on your side, uh, Denise? I got Todd Kennedy checking in. They need to make sure these parents have computers and internet or supply it to them. Uh, Ted Kennedy, home of the MTV uh, house that came down uh, in Key Haven. A quick story about my man Ted, now the director of Fox Sports. And uh, let me tell you something, that man is big on that production on Fox. And what happened is, uh, and, I, and I'll say this very clear, Ed Swift had a problem with the MTV house. I didn't agree. So I went against Ed Swift on, on that one. I said that we're gonna be one human family and we have tours coming in the same way I follow a, a conch tour train. I'm dealing with that, you're gonna have to deal with MTV. So guess what? The majority rule, we have a court system, MTV won. Power to the people, MTV, um, OPP, all day. Comcast is not charging as for at this point. You don't necessarily have to pay your bill at this point until the crap is over with. The okay, same doc. thing with some of the rents and with the electrical and such. Um, Comcast, you will be able to have your Comcast internet for schools if this is still going on. Now, if they try to automatically just say, okay, well, what's you know shut everyone down but you still have to pay your bills you know then that's a problem at this point so many people are out of work you know they don't have the money to do so there's not a lot of jobs considering that we have over like 3,000 employees that are now looking for jobs Monica's being nice we're, we're in a fight for our lives right now so this election here is the biggest election of your whole time. This is your time in the moment. This will be the time for some of y'all watching on this that never voted to vote for the first time. I really need y'all to give me some uh, input. Do you agree with the mayor, uh, Terry Johnson, mandating masks everywhere as soon as you step out of your house or you don't agree? 
Uh, let me know what your thoughts are because right now the community is on the verge of uh, revolt. Thank you all for those of y'all coming in. Also, um, I'm going to let y'all know another thing that happened today, very critical. But before that, Denise Lane, who else we got over there? We got Mikey Story checking in. My kids are not going back. Break out the Chromebooks. Okay. Um, we've got uh, Doris Roberts Arnold checking in. I was just sitting at Smathers and one out of five had a mask on. Okay. Here at a beach, as long as you are literally at a beach social distancing, you shouldn't have to be worried about a mask. Well, the, the families law... are together. Are you freaking kidding me? You're at a beach and you're like, yeah, but the... I have, I have. I understand that, but the, the law that was passed today... Seven family members. Yeah, I, I agree with you, but the law that Terry Johnson passed today says if beach cousin, uncle, mother, father, as soon as you walk out the house, you must have a mask. This is Take why me on, I'll take you to the federal court. Well, okay. That's yeah, what I say. I, I'm with you. I'll I, I, you I think I think court. it's ridiculous that this thing it's got passed It's not mandated by law. I'm, I'm, I'm with you, and the people are going to revolt. Um, also... Like I said, it's it's really all bad news today, but we're going to stay positive around here no matter what. So um, what happened is some people did stand up talking about laws. Federal lawsuit was filed today to stop the cruise ship referendum. So the people have spoken. Like I told you, somebody filed a federal lawsuit and they uh, are challenging the referendum for cruise ships uh, restrictions and they're uh, challenging those referendums to get off the ballot in August, and that's in federal court. That's official that happened today. Let me see who we got on my side. I got Nikki Roger. What's up, Nikki girl? David Flynn, Jared, Frank. Uh, look, you got a, a fan over here, Monica. Hi, Monica, old school friend. Uh, Keith, Keith Hopkins, I think you covered him. Who else we got on your side over we there? We got Carlos Gonzalez, nobody uprising. Man, Louie, you starting to sound like a politician. The fact that 11 p.m. shutdown on restaurants is not an outrageous idea. The average person at a restaurant at 11 p.m. is not eating dinner. They are using it to bypass the fact that bars are closed to use it as a gathering location. Okay, hold on one second. So Apparently who's that? Doesn't eat like uh, Carlos, thank you so much for uh, your comment. Let me tell you something. So over here, we keep it blood raw. So I want you to start naming names right now. I don't want to hear he said, she said, but can you tell me exactly which place is doing that? Because me personally, I haven't seen anybody doing that. What I've seen is people become a part of the solution, not the problem. So if you could tell me, let, let's call name, let, let's keep it 100. Oh, and I want you to tell me where you seen this, where it was at, and then we'll go from there. So if, you, if you're going to talk big, let's do big. I go to Jack Flats for their meatloaf and also for their uh, pot roast. I just went the other day. Oh my God, it's yeah. awesome. You can yeah. go there all the way up until one o'clock in the morning. You're hungry, you go eat. I eat, plus the Tex-Mex rolls are fucking awesome. Yeah. And then don't forget, they have awesome tater tots. You load them up with cheese, bacon, green onions, jalapenos are fucking awesome. That is my staple there, okay? Jack Flats, they serve, I eat. If I'm hungry, I get a late night, that's where I go. Okay, so Monica, you, you brought a great point. Thank you, darling. Thank you for being on the show. You know, I love all of y'all. But at this point, this thing is getting really, really tough for everybody. So we're going to let it be known today. We ain't going to miss no words. So explain to these people, because some of them don't understand the life downtown, right? So you, you go out, you work. Usually what time do you get downtown when everything is, is running Usually 100%? Usually we get somewhere around 5. Uh, Jasper will go down around 5. But I didn't like going down until around, you know, 8, 9. Okay. But for the most part, we will work up until like five o'clock in the freaking morning. Okay, so this is this is what I'm trying to get. Because what I'm trying to I'm just trying to get information out so people can look at it from both sides. You know, when so you're hungry, in, right? when, when you're when you're when you're in a teeth. when you're in a business deal, you can't always get everything on your side, right? You gotta compromise. So a lot of people I don't think know this. So what time sometimes I'm sorry, are you eating actually going to eat? What time do you actually get a break? There's a work? lot of times that I'm eating at twelve o'clock. Thank a lot you. of times 12 o'clock in the morning and you know sometimes I'm really freaking hungry so I stop in there I know it's horrible because you always say you don't <laughs> want to stop at a restaurant right until they close but I'm that type of person I'm absolutely hungry I have been working all night long or doing whatever I have to do and freaking hungry so I go there Jack Bless has great food I know. it's better than Wendy's like like for example for example I know a lot of my people missing the sexy bull riding 
So, so Monica uh, comes out there with her business and takes care of several businesses out there. And uh, sometimes me and her run into each other. We go all the way to uh, Green Street and go over to the uh, Sandbar, who's a little bit late night because there's not yep. that many places. And now, let me tell you this. This, the, the sandbar, did you see any extracurricular different than what the sandbar do in the last couple of weeks? I didn't. No. Okay, Jack Flats, I just went to eat beet loaf like she did oh, the other day. Hey, Matter of oh, fact, they, they, they have a, a perfect operation over there to the T. Um, I went to Stock Rock. Those people close at 9. I don't see them open until 2 o'clock. I think where, where people are confused is, and, and I don't know, um, this is just common sense, the COVID doesn't turn off, right? So if you shut something early down, it doesn't mean at that time, if, if that worked where you shut off at 10 o'clock downtown and the COVID turned off, then I say, go ahead and close it as soon as the, the COVID turns off. But this is not reality. So at this point, if y'all don't vote these son of a guns out of here, plan to move out of Key West. This is the best thing I can tell you. What else we got on your side, Denise? Hold on. Did, um, did, did Carlos come back in? I'm looking for one place, not two, not four. One, I just want one place that you could tell me that's doing this so I can get to the meats and potatoes. What you got, Denise? I don't. I don't. But I have Christopher Valdez checking in. It's so funny how I was against Terry when you were for her, and now I'm 100% in with her. Okay, so Chris, my man, my, my classmate, uh, 1986 Key West High School. So what happened is, you're absolutely correct. We're going to keep it blood raw today. So I was 100% uh, with Terry. Okay, I think Terry is a wonderful woman. She's very respectful. She's a nice lady. Unfortunately, when she kept making decisions for the minority, I let one go. I let two go. She kept going with this to the point of no return. Therefore, she lost my support. Now I'm 100% with Mark Rossi. So if you were 100% with Terry, there's no problem. You know, me and you, we are, we are, we brothers. We could talk about this, but I'm glad you brought this on the forum. This Can is I ask why. A question? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Key West is a very small island. Um, most of it is what, it's probably what, 95% tourism based. What is Terry doing for all the people that are out of work right now that are not being able to get unemployment? What is she doing for them? Uh, what is sure. she doing to try to help these people? Because I can tell you right now, if I was mayor, I would be directly on the phone with the head of Tallahassee and I'd be on the phone with DeSantes fighting with them. And if they wouldn't answer me, guess what I would do? I would hold a conference with a bunch of news reporters and I say, listen here, if you do not fix our situation with Key West's economic situation for their unemployment, the PUA unemployment, I am going to open up this island 100% fully. Well, I would, because I would give them four days to get it taken care of because you know what? Our people have been suffering for months that have not been paid whatsoever unemployment. There are people that are have not been paid one freaking dime for three months. You tell me no how question. that can happen. And the mayor isn't doing anything, and she works for us. She's supposed to be taking care of her city. So how do you, how do you resolve this situation with the mayor? Then? Well, the mayor? Yeah. How do you? If you can't, she knows that it's going on. I, I can write a million letters. I mean, I've invited I've invited her. I have I have a, a quick answer for that. It's very simple. You vote her out. Yeah. So so some of y'all talking big, hit the uh, voters box big. That's what you do. Denise Lane, thank you for the production today. All love. So uh, what we got, Denise? Because it's gonna get hot and bothered. All uh, right, we got Jason Weppelman stating: close if you want, but make the people whole. Money and debt suspension. They need to do this nationwide, or come August, we are gonna see a real SHIT show. Okay. So let me respond to that comment. So I, I think that's great. If 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 basically we could shut down. Uh, completely and everybody can be taken care of, they might, that might be a solution. Uh, furthermore, let me be clear. On March 3rd of uh, this year, right in the, uh, in the peak of uh, spring break, Dr. Uh, Bruce Burroughs went to the city commission meeting. This is fact. It's not opinion. And said, we got a typhoon coming. We got a category six coming with this COVID-19. Okay. So like the rest of the nation, uh, we didn't make a move uh uh, right away. So it took a little time for it to sink in, right? So I formed a committee uh, with uh, with Dr. Burroughs and got different people on there, different segments of the community, like Harry Russell, the principal. I got Milos over there from uh, Barbary uh, Beach House. I got a gentleman that owned uh, uh, Stanley Steamer from Big Pine. 
I got Joe from the Sandbar. I got Joe Walsh. And we was ready to test two months ago. 86,000 people. Let's get it on. So now it's a panic. The panic has hit. Let me tell you something. And I don't mean to panic, y'all. More cases are going to be hit. We're going to start hitting uh, more records. Just no way around it. You either live with the COVID or you stop living. So this is basically where we at. Uh, Denise Lane, anything else on your side? We have uh, Gilda Niles commenting, Scam Dunmick. The mayor is taking her marching orders from someone other than the citizens of Key West. I mean, the working citizens, not retired people, are those working in government and getting a paycheck. Um, we, we have, uh, let's see. I see John over here. Thank you. Keith says, hell no, no mass. Mm -hmm. uh, Regina, no. Uh, Keith Hoffman, vote Rossi. Uh, not a law. Uh, Keith Hoffman, it's a code. And let me say this. Denise, and then we'll go back to you. Uh, I'm going to say this to y'all. Uh, I don't. It won't surprise me if we have a major incident in the Florida Keys based on people pushed to the blink. So if we have a major incident happen, it's not going to surprise me. At this point, I don't know what to tell y'all, but we're setting up our police force, our code enforcement for failure. This is a failure. The majority rules, and this has to change. So I, I hope August 18th was like two seconds from now. Denise, what you got on your side? We have uh, Regina Lawrence Scott commenting out of 15,000 new cases yesterday, only 130 people hospitalized. We need more information. How many people died? Um, not sure. Go ahead, Denise. Um, we've got Yelena, COVID-19 and the mask issue is a decoy to keep society fighting and arguing while the Democrats divert our attention from the real issues in the White House and all of the corruption. Adriana checking in. Barry Gibson. I think I seen you wasn't feeling well. Oh, shout out to Commissioner Lopez. Yay, happy birthday. All right. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, sir. Uh, what else you got, Denise? Anybody else? Uh, we have Andy Monterey commenting. Monroe County has 611 cases. Okay. Not. Uh, also, um, I look, my number I look at, I look at hospitalizations. And I believe, I believe, don't uh, quote me on this because I ain't seen the stats for today. We're at nine and I asked the other day to get a count on how many we could hold. And the number is really high on what uh, hold. I don't know, have the exact number, but we far, we're not even touching that number. Yes, we're going to have more positive cases. I say it again. We need to learn how to live with the COVID. There's just nowhere, no way around it. Um, Allie, thank you for checking in. Let me see. I want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. Ms. Rodriguez checking in. Anybody on your side over there? Um, I got Charles Pons checking in. Politics is like the weather. You need a good storm every now and then to clear everything out. Nice, nice. Uh, we've got Jorge Valdez um, commenting, while we know it wasn't for a, a paperwork error, she would have never won in the first place. Let's just make it count this year. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got Jeremy Smith checking in. Uh, thank you so much. So listen, in case you just uh, tune in, first thing I need you all to do, hit notifications button right over here. And YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button right over here. And any questions, comments, me, Monica, and Denise going to be here to whenever to make sure we address everything. But right now the topic is uh, dictatorship that's going on. Uh, new mandate today with masks being required as soon as you step out of the house. Also, there's been a federal lawsuit filed uh, against the referendums for the cruise ships, and it's just not looking good uh, for tourism. We might as well, I talked to a county commissioner today, we might as well, Monica, have a sign that says, tour is not welcome in the Florida Keys, right in front of US-1. Because I'll be honest with you, if I go spend thousands of dollars somewhere, and I get treated with disrespect, or I feel uncomfortable, I'm never coming back over here again. If they close us, they would definitely have to pay. So it just... Uh, all bad news across the board. What else we got, uh, Miss Denise? I want to make sure we get everybody. All right. We got uh, Regina Lauren Scott saying, the more you test, the more positive cases you get. No, no question about that. No we told you. That. Todd, thank you for checking in. Yvonne checking in. Natalie checking in. I see uh, here a reply. Yelena Denise, did you see that one? Yelena. Yeah. Keith Hopkins, the COVID-19 ambush is a diversion from the left to take us down. The sooner we stop fighting with one another over masks and COVID-19, the sooner we can focus on paying attention um, to, sorry, my eyesight, the White House fact check and pray again. 
They are coming to take us away and all in the name of saving lives and doing the right thing. Also, thank you all so Dr. much for Jackie all the... Like thank you all uh, so much for the love today. So, I, so I'm going to say this. we got to sit at the table. Um, sometimes uh, we don't do any of this and this is where these problems come about, right? So for example, I just learned a couple of days ago that for this cruise ships, nobody came and sat to the table, the pro or the con, and had a meeting and talked about stuff. So we need to let these eagles go and sit at the table. So what I'm, what I'm prepared to do for the record, I already set this up, I will be sitting at the table and I will be moderating um, a, um, a meeting between the pro cruise ships and the con and we're gonna see if we could come to a compromise. That's what I'm gonna do from, from my side. And if we start doing this, then maybe we could avoid all this foolishness. Right now, I only want people around me that are part of the solution and not the problem. Monica, what you got? Um, I'll tell you this right now. Um, once upon a time, I used to live in Michigan and I live in Detroit. And guess what? People that got off cruise ships at one time here went back on a full vacation here in Key West. And then they kept coming on full vacations and one day I met them and guess what? They told me about Key West. And that is how I found out about Key West because people that originally went on a cruise ship and then decided to keep coming. So let me West. get this right. You telling me that you found about, you found out, you're not saying this because you're I didn't know about Key West until. Hold on, so you're saying that somebody told you about Key West that went uh, on a cruise ship down here. That's how you found out about Key West? Yeah. Wow, isn't that amazing how that happened? And then Monica, I hear she, she conked. I, I certified her conk. So she she uh, she good. That's, that's incredible. What else you got, Denise? I see some people coming in here. I got William Gonzalez stating, I think if Monroe County wants everyone to wear a mask when they leave their houses, they should supply the mask. I think they're going to need something like 8 million masks at 60 masks per person. They should put their money where their mouth is. Uh, Willie G, my man from Marathon. Shout out to Commissioner Louis Gonzalez. Willie, I don't know what the hell going on, man, but... I'm going to need y'all to vote out there strong, man. We got to get some of these people out of here. We got Elena Spotswood commenting, successful conversations will take you very far. Thanks, all. Thank you, uh, Miss Elena. You know, we want to be part of the solution, not the problem. I see my man Pete, DJ DOS, straight out of New York City. So, Pete, could you explain to these people in New York, because you're in the trenches, NYPD SWAT team. This man went all the way to uh, ER to the emergency level and bounced back from the COVID and now is out there making it happen. In New York, you were straight to the ceiling. You was on TV every other second and now you guys got a good control on it. You know, still not done, but you know, you're, you're getting uh, a lot of positive stuff down there. So what I'm trying to tell people here is that we haven't hit the peak and we're going to get to a peak. It's nowhere uh, anytime soon, but once we do, we're going to come on the other side. So, Pete, can you elaborate on that? Brian, I see you. Um, Tony, thank you for uh, checking in. Uh, I see Courtney coming in there. Denise, what you got for Miss Courtney Mitchell? Uh, shout out to Courtney Mitchell. All right. We got Courtney saying, uh, Terry's got to go. My, in, uh, my inhabitants are rolling over in their grave right now as a descendant of a very high individual on Key West, born and raised. It's just like they sold their souls. Wow. Tess Campbell checking in. We got Kenneth Alonzo saying it's too hot to wear a mask all the time. Uh, DJ uh, DOS says exactly, Monica. My experience firsthand. Okay. How about Shane? You got a Shane put a picture up here. Boy, this thing getting fancy on the line today. Blondie looks like she's intoxicated on something. Uh, I've already taken my Christmas pill. This is funny, funny stuff out here today. But you know, it's funny, but it's dead serious because right now we, we got to, you know, take some action on this. We're going to take the last little bit of comments we got here. And the last thing I'm going to tell you all is please do not panic. Okay. Do not push the panic button. This is an incredible situation we're going through. I guess, uh, Denise Lane, I think we're in episode four of Netflix. We don't move up to episode I think four. So. Today. I think so. Here's a good comment uh, from Tony Durante. Big shout out to him. Is there a doctor involved in these videos or just science deniers with opinions and false claims? I don't get it. Dr. Bros is on the program every year. Uh, Norris always. Yeah, Dr. Bros is on the program every uh, Friday, and there's a lot of health uh, professionals. And when they ask me a question, and they said, the mayor said, uh, the answer that I give them when it comes to health, I said, well, is the mayor a health expert? 
And then do we have health people on the panel? Because that's what we need to be talking to. Go ahead, Monica. I'm sorry. Dr. Norris is also with us at all times. You know, he wants us to be safe. He wants us just to wear a mask. He wants us to um, social distance, but he's not talking about closing down our economy. Everyone needs to get paid. He's talking about social distancing, take, take, taking care of ourselves, washing our hands, and getting back to work, but not literally killing us in our economy. Denise, uh, what we're going to do, baby doll, is I'm going to bring you back on here in a second. You're going to go ahead and close out with the sponsors, and then I want you to comment because I know you're very concerned about the situation uh, with the kids going back to school also, mm -hmm. and it's a very serious topic, and I'm glad we got the superintendent, and thank you so much Absolutely. for bringing that up, that we would have the superintendent. So I'm over here. I see Valdez. Did you see the one with Valdez there? Um, right after the one you just uh, talked about with Tony, he says, just had customers today that came here two times on a cruise and finally came for a week. That's awesome. Thank you, uh, Mr. Valdez. And also, Bubba, I'm going to need y'all to come out. I'm talking about everybody in the whole city to come out to the Power to the People Voters Rally next Friday at the courthouse, 6 p.m. Make sure we, we voted out. We're going to have speakers out there that are running for office, and everybody's invited. This is not just one-sided. We are uh, inviting all the uh, candidates. Anybody I'll else? I'll bake the food. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Monica. Anybody else, Denise, on your side? We have Kawana Stephanie um, commenting, conversations without negative energy like being f uh, being forth is necessary to progress. Stop bashing people and lead with facts, not opinions. Saving lives and stopping the spread is the key. The disrespectful, so, so sorry, the disrespectful people who refuse to do such are damaging our community with limited resources. Okay. Uh, DJ DOS said, basically, the reality is this. If if you're going to get it, you're going to get it. Well, um, I agree with that. And all you can do is try to be safe and, and healthy, wash hands, social distance, wear your mask when you can, boost the immune system. That's all we can do. Sandy, thank you so much for checking in. Jennifer, checking in. Uh, DOS also says, I got it bad. My wife, who stayed in the bed with me as uh, I was sick, never got it. Wow. Albert, thank you for checking in. Uh, if you, uh, DOS also said, if you have pre-existing issues, take every precaution. Okay, anything else on your side? Uh, we've got Anthony Bird. Masks may help, but they do not prevent the transmission of COVID-19 by any means. Combining facial mask, extreme heat, high humidity, and prolonged mask wearing in these conditions increase the possibility of having a heat stroke or sunstroke, which can be life-threatening. Uh, when that first mandate mask uh, heat stroke death occurs, the city will change their anywhere outside mandate. Terry Johnson will really have an issue on her hands. And I, and I got to tell you, I'm, I'm a firm believer in, you know, work. the United States works a certain way and there's laws set in place. So I respect that. But having said that, uh, drastic situation called for drastic action. So if I feel any type of way, that I'm not fee uh, feeling well because I have a mask on. I wouldn't give a damn if I was on Duval Street, on Whitehead, on Stock Island, and Big Coppet, and Big Pine, and Marathon, and Key Largo, at uh, Smathers Beach, at Sombrero Beach. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and breathe and uh, go ahead and uh, feel better. So I, I'm going to take care of me and my family, and I appreciate that. But I don't need nobody telling me what to do over and over uh, trying to get over like a dictatorship. So I'm just tired of this, and I, and I, I say with this with all due respect, this is an error in judgment. Um, I understand it's a tough situation, but we got to do better. This approach is all wrong. Denise, what else you got? Uh, we've got Cliff Wardlaw commenting, closing things down limits people's contact, resources, and freedom. When people get desperate, they fight each other, then eventually bend to the will of the government who will claim to be there to help when they cause the problem. All right, you could keep it rolling so we can get everybody in here. Um, we've got Joe Carter checking in. So much makes sense with the new mandate. Just being outside and having to mask up is too much, especially in this heat around strangers and social situations. Unable to stop social uh, around strangers and social situations. Unable to social distance. Mask up. Joe is Carter. Playing uh, safe. 
Power to the people. Go ahead, uh, Denise. We're on a roll right we now. We got uh, Franklin checking in. Blessings, my friend. Thank you, Franklin. Patty Child, I agree with Anthony Bird. This sh uh, city should address these precautions. Okay, keep keep it rolling there. Uh, we got Kawana Stephanie. Thank you. I'm sick of this. Looks and like... I see my man Victor. Thank you so much. All love on the podcast. So listen, uh, at this point, Monica, we need to get everybody. I'm talking about not only service industry, anybody who wants to be heard, come out to the Power to the People Voters Rally next Friday, July 24th, because I want to hear from, from everybody. And listen, we, we're going to have masks, we're going to distance, and we're going to be safe. We're going to keep people hydrated. We started at 6 o'clock, mm -hmm. so everybody could, could come. And we're just trying to, you know, live like everybody else. But, you know, I got to tell you, this is a tough situation, and we have to get together and get ideas out there for everybody because at this point, I, I really think, uh, uh, you know, that the city is going to revolt against this and they're going to say, damn that, we don't care what the mayor said, we're going to do what we need to do here. And if, this is far from one human family, I got to tell you. So Denise, I'm going to go ahead and bring you on in. You could uh, go ahead and, and talk about, if you like, for the... Uh, Superintendent, come in tomorrow. How you feel with your kid? You brought some excellent points oh. there. And then we'll, we'll, I'll come back on and wrap it up. All right. Just want to remind everyone this is an open platform for you to get whatever questions, comments, and concerns you have. Um, we've got the superintendent tomorrow. So um, we want to get those uh, questions and comments out there. There's a lot of concern with the kids. I personally am just concerned with my my own child's uh, mental health at this point, you know, having to wear a mask while he's outside all day, um, having to wear a mask waiting at the bus stop in school, gets to take it off for lunch, gets to, has to wear it again at the playground, on the bus on the way home, when he's outside playing in the neighborhood. It, it's just a lot. And, and I know masks are the safest option um, and, and the closest chance we have to surviving this. I just personally worry about you know my children's mental my child's mental health at this point and i've got a lot of questions for the superintendent tomorrow we certainly hope that you submit your questions um, we have dr burroughs um friday to discuss on um, the updated COVID information that he's receiving and i want to give a shout out to florida keys injury.com accident lawyers in the florida keys um, if you're involved in an accident car moped or bicycle um, 302 Southern Street, or you can uh, go on FloridaKeysInjury.com. Big shout out to Dr. Burroughs and his staff at Advanced Urgent Care, um, offering free COVID testing, Key West, Marathon, Key Largo, certain restrictions do apply, and they've altered their times to be accommodating Monday through Saturday at all three locations. Thank you, uh, Ms. Denise Lane. Uh, she's like a superhero uh, cousin of Lois Lane. Monica, thank you so much. Shout out to Stock Island. My people in Stock Island. Stock Island. Stock Rocks. We're mm -hmm. actually going to be on uh, Bernstein Park on Wednesday with the live with Coach DR talking basketball. And uh, I'll be curious because guess what, uh, Ms. Denise, I got a call today. He said he don't know how he's supposed to uh, have a workout with kids with masks because he's, he's not working indoors. He's actually outdoors yeah. so he's troubled to see how he's going to pull it off let's get these last people in here and then um we'll uh go ahead and wrap it up for today uh any i, I see uh let me see i got um john checking in joe carter back in here victor anybody else you got on your side i got, got everybody i got john gibson he said will monica be supporting her former boss for Key West Mayor. Ooh, uh, are you supporting Mark Rossi for mayor? It's a question that we keep it blood raw. Are you? You know what I'm supporting? <laughs> I'm supporting whoever is going to be best for this town. Someone that really cares about their business has to care about everyone else's business, period. And that's where I stand. Anyone that cares about their business and really wants it to survive is going to work just as hard for everyone else's business, period, in town. Thank you, Ms. Monica. Uh, Denise uh, Lane is a fabulous show today. And please follow me on YouTube. We're going to have this show and all the shows on YouTube under Louis C. Rock. Subscribe to the channel. We love y'all. And you think it was uh, on and popping today? Tomorrow when that superintendent come through here, 
Boy, it's going to be serious. So make sure you set your clocks right now at 645 live on the podcast with me, Louis C. The Mayor. And God bless y'all as be part of the solution and not the problem. Holla!